Yeah, to start with that, I'm not at all happy that I'm given, given only five minutes to talk about fundraising. <laughs> because in five minutes, only way of raising funding by issuing LOUs like uh, a <laughs> Anyway, coming to the seriousness of this, what is this? Uh, uh, my profession, I am in part of the few VCs in the investment committee, and also, but also working with some few angel investors for raising funds for uh, recommending few startups, and also part of the few startups whereby I can help them to prepare a model to go to a VC or PE. But here, what we struggle the most in my primary experience I have seen is to answer the why part when you raise funding. Why do I need funding? From my experience, I've seen, maybe I've seen that uh, in the investment committee meetings and all, when people pitch, when people pitch, at least 50% of the people, when they pitch, they say, why you need funding? Because my competitors has raised from X VC at Y valuation, why not I? But that's not why. Why you need funding? That's, that's most important. And then the few people will pitch saying that, I am doing like this, I started three years before, my company has grown like this, my turnover has been like this, and I have made this much of margin we are making, this much of office we are making, at the all, at the end you will describe why you, if you are doing so well, why the hell you need funding there? Then also there is a struggle. The most important piece is to put together why I need funding. There could be only few reasons you need funding. You have been constrained for your growth, or when you are growing, you are making losses, or when you want to grow, their working people is killing you, or I need to build some capital piece, or I need to fund on the skills or putting the operation capabilities. So those are the why parts are very essential when we talk about fundraising. I just uh, address uh, in five minutes few issues to. Uh, summarize it uh, or the whole process, the timing. Many times when I pitch as a startup for fundraising, the investors, what they actually look and what I am pitching for is always there is a kind of imbalance. We feel many times if I pitch to an investor saying that my business is doing well and I can grow like this, you will have this much of benefit, this profit, he's not interested. If you are raising fund from an angel investor, if you are raising invest fund from a pre-investor, pre-investment series, before series A, what those guys are looking for? They will see, if I invest here, can I sell my shares to a series A investor? Series A will see, can I sell this to series B investors? In case of Flipkart, what these guys will look for? Soft bank. If there is some Urga, like Walmart, coming and buying at 20 billion, I can dispose of my sales. Last part will say, it is a loss making, why should I invest? But a software will be looking in a different angle. And that is what has happened. Even <coughs> the earlier investors in Flipkart, like Alari and many people, how many times money they made, and though in the public, <laughs> Flipkart may be making 3,000, 4,000 per loss every year. So they, where you are pitching and who is the investor, what he is looking for, does he meet a requirement that you need to match. So you need to do a proper study when you pitch for the money. And most essential across all is what is your business plan? Do you have a roadmap? Do I have a roadmap? Can I see myself down the line two years, three years, five years? Okay, five years too much. Two years, 18 months. What do I do for 18 months? How will the fund flow will look like? I'll give you just here one example. One guy, some, some 15 years experience, he pitched. So fantastic pitch, very passionate, very confident talking. He is from Ivy League graduate, having 15 years of experience, had his, uh, has a money from his uh, family, invested in that mobile business. I don't want to take the name. These are uh, the smartphones, they're reselling the smartphone through web and uh, through electronic media. And he started saying, this is my I started with one crore sale, six crore sale, 12 crore sale, this is the growth is coming. I had picked up down because of demonetization, but however, and the GST got issued, then I started picking up. What fantastic. All the pitch, this is the margin we make, each set we sell, this is our cost and all explained. We were very impressed. Then we 
went to the next round, can you show me your boxing? And how much money you have got in the account? He said, he has only two lakhs rupees. And that also he had himself deposited. But all that he talked and explained, nothing to do with what he has in, in the bank account. So bit the preconception is important what you speak. Because when you raise about fundraising, when you talk about so much of branding, so much of new things, next, tomorrow you will be doing due diligence. When the due diligence comes, it has to reflect what you said. Otherwise, the confidence level falls. So what you have, make a story, then a story of imagination. That's very important. Then many times, even I have, I know many times, I questioned the startup teachers. We don't fund you, what do you do? The first 50% of the time, not sure, what do I do, no answer, nothing. It talks about, you thought that the day you come and you teach in the evening, have a samosa and then take the suitcase and go away. <laughs> that is not your whole idea. But how prepared you are, that will address the investor community, how confident you are, how you can carry it. There is a hard possibility that every pitch may not succeed. In my case, most of the pitches it doesn't succeed actually. So you need to be prepared for what the plans, the exit plans are. This is the last slide, then four years. So this is the few things would be very essential. The purpose of the business, the whole object of the purpose, Business has to be explained very well, tabulated, year-wise. As it comes with a business plan, the person is reflected in numbers. That's very important. If the person is reflected in numbers, you will succeed, exit everywhere. When you talk about it, it will come out. It will reflect. It will come out due diligence. It's nothing, no question to be asked. But how to reflect your passion into business is very key. That is your conviction level. Explains a differential. Why you are different? That one piece may be, or three piece may be, or two piece may be, whatever it is, why you are different from others? Why you need to be funded? That difference it has to glaringly has to come out in your presentation. <coughs> and to identify the differentiator, you have to have a strong competition analysis. You need to know your competition, what they are selling and what their product is. And uh, as I said, Financial plan, projections are very important. Many times somebody, I know somebody pitched, he said, we don't need, he's making losses for four years, next four years, why should we fund you? The next question, if you don't, don't fund me, now I see my five times growth, if you don't fund me, my growth will come down to two times. I was planning to go into five cities, I will come down to two cities. Well, I will narrow down my losses, but I will sustain. You see how convincing it is. And what is the contestability? This way, without raising fund, I sustained for last three years. And I have the capability of sustaining next three years. You may go away, but some investor will come. That talks about contestability and confidence. So those are the factors will be very important. And uh, your uh, contestability is the key. Because <coughs> the company where I am uh, been mentoring, Every time they talk about is like this. We expect to grow next four years the way we grew for the last four years. That's a simple answer. If I grow the next four years similar to the last four years, my sales is 500 crore and my profit is these things. No questions asked. Because you have established yourself. So you can create a contestability with a secondary convincing reason. Anyway, I have, uh, I don't know how much. Yeah, I do. So I have finished my five minutes. So. Any questions, I'll take it or we can discuss it. How easy is it if, you have, if I have an idea but no money, how easy is it to get from it? It all depends. Your initial level, I would say your connections is really very important because you have only idea states. You have not, no proof of concept, no revenue recognized. And there will be very few people who will be giving a bet on you. So your references will be very key. How many people are willing to bet their money on your idea? What are the chances that a cash flow positive business for running for last four years or five years, uh, but they have not, they have grown on their own up to a certain level, uh, will get funding uh, based on the growth projection that they have? 
they will get because I know my two companies where uh, they have always uh, software companies, they always uh, make margin. So there is case positive always. They always felt they don't need funding. They always funded it, but it was always limiting the growth. If you can bring out the point, that means my growth will go 10 times more, 5 times more just because of funding, it is very easier to get it funded. Otherwise, there has to be a reason why you need funding if you are making case positive. How many business plans do you think are actually real? <clears throat> and there are some people like my community saying that they don't read the business plans at all. So what do you think? Uh, is it I don't know who doesn't read, at least I read. Because, because I am a part of the valuation what I do, because normally I do the valuation. Business, our valuation is based on the 10 years of uh, projections. What you say, it is reflected in numbers with the IRR and NPP is coming. Though in previously in 14, 15 they were talking about peer concept or thumb rule and uh, all other way of valuation, but nowadays very clearly, you need to see the break even point down the line, two years, three years, four years, around. that is not possible without having your financial projections. I think I am within my time. Right. <laughs>